Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And today, today, and today, what do you say when it's not today though? It's the whole week. And this week, we are reviewing Blue Apron. That's right, we are bleeding. Bleeding. Ooh, that got dark. We are eating Blue Apron for the week. <laughs> I really need to stop smoking more of these videos. That's right, folks. We are eating Blue Apron for the week. Uh, you know, we've done HelloFresh, we've done Martha Stewart's thing, and now we're gonna review the, some would say classic, quintessential, um, the standard. Oh, hello, Jimmy. Well, I'm doing my intro. Are oh, you doing a video? Yeah, for the Blue Aprons. Cool, bro. Um, I feel like Blue Apron was the first of its kind, and then everybody else came after it, and then it usurped Blue Apron. I feel like HelloFresh is the top, the cream of the crop now. And I'll be honest with you guys, we have been using HelloFresh nonstop since the first original video, and we've managed to not pay full price for the entirety of using it, because they're always running some type of promo code. All that to say, what does the expression suffice it to say? or suffice to say, either one. It's time to review Blue Apron. I opened up the package last night and here's what it looked like inside. All right, so opening up the box and it's still pretty cold, which is nice. I'm impressed. But all the ingredients for all of the meals are just kind of all together in disarray. I'll say it, at first glance, the vegetables look nice and fresh, nothing looks off. Nice bulb of garlic. They have the knickknacks, like, and sauces and stuff in their own bags. But then, you're on your own with this shit, I guess. You just gotta use the recipes, which I kinda like HelloFresh better, where they have it in the cardboard bags, but hey. This isn't about HelloFresh, it's about Blue Apron. And I'll also point out that when I was selecting the recipes for the weeks, there was a lot less selection than the Martha Stewart and HelloFresh meal delivery kits. And the first week of Blue Apron, there was like no options. So the meals that I'm going with this week, I kind of have to adapt some of them to fit our needs. But I'm still keeping an open mind. So we're gonna kick things off with this seared chicken and goat cheese sauce recipe. Now, I like the style of the meal card. It is very stylish. The HelloFresh one's a little, like, kid-like. This one's more, like, mature. This is, like, zagat shit, you know? All right, I got all the ingredients, and this is the amount of carrots they have for two people. So uh, I'm just gonna use the serving of carrots for a future recipe in this, because I have a shit ton of carrots in my fridge, so whatever. Um, but, like, that's not very much food, right? And then this is the amount of peppers, but a lot of potatoes. That's one of my gripes with these meal kits is they always like double up on the potatoes. Like, give me some more of the veggies, you know? I love potatoes a lot, but come on, you know, we're trying to work on our summer bod that no one's gonna see. It's 10:19 right now, and we haven't eaten dinner yet. Dan's gonna kill me. But to put it in perspective, we didn't wake up till noon, so. You know. Also, the chicken was wet and had goo on top of it on the package when I took it from the fridge, so just saying. So, the veggies are chopped, the chicken is cooking, the potatoes are mashed, and so far, so good with this recipe. I also wanted to make a note just for some of the haters out there. No dishes in the sink, motherfuckers. So, rumor has it, the dishes did get cleaned. All right. Here's expectation versus reality, although I didn't cut my chicken because I'm lazy. I tasted each individual ingredient, and I know that it's pretty good. What do you think, Dan? It's okay. What do you mean it's okay? Hold on. Okay, so one out of five. What? One out of five. Can we do ten? For the meal. Can we do ten? Why does it make a difference? Because I'll only do a 6.5. <laughs> okay. So a 3.5. Okay, Blue Apron, day two. Tonight we're making this. Cheesy chicken enchiladas uh, with some sour cream and shit in it. So mine is gonna be slightly altered. No sour cream for me and light cheese on top. Dan's is gonna be full bore, sour cream, all the stuff. Ooh. Um, I'm really freaking tired, I don't know why. 
<sighs> and Dan says if I take two hours to make dinner like I did last night, he's gonna beat me, so. I'm <laughs> exactly, so I'm gonna get all this stuff rock and roll and I'll check in with you once we're really underway. All right, and just like that, these are ready to go in the oven. You can see the super cheesy side is Dan's. I don't fucks with that much cheese. She's sizzling. Oh, all right, we made it through. I'm so tired, I feel like I got roofied. Did you roofie me? Mm -hmm. Oh, that explains it. Okay, this is what it looks like. Dan, you say it's very tasty? Yeah. One out of 10. Nine. A nine. Yeah. So one out of five would be a four. You're having a hard time with that last name. This is more of a your type of meal, though, just being honest. Mexican. Mm. I'm not prejudiced. Mm. It's very good. It's different than what we normally have. And it was easy. And once you get the gist of it, it's like you could do this and customize it. Like, it'd be very easy to riff on it, you know? Okay, night three, Blue Apron with another box on the way. Tonight is seared salmon and sweet chili glaze. I'm not naked, by the way. Or am I? Um, this should be pretty straightforward, except Dan hates salmon. I know, crazy, right? So he's gonna have cod or something, and I'm gonna have the salmon. But I need to have a little pre-dinner dinner, a snack of some Cape Cod potato chips. Best potato chips in the world. Tell me otherwise. You're wrong, but tell me otherwise. The thing is, Dan really is hungry, and he said if it's 7.20, and he said he wants to be eating by 8, and if dinner's not ready at 8, he's making a sandwich. Now, that sounds really mean, but it's because I procrastinate shit all day long and take forever to do everything, so... He has to set boundaries, and quite frankly, I don't blame him. Okay, so I'm going to just do this as fast as I can, so I might not check in a lot, but either way, you'll see how it all comes out. Okay, so it's like 8.30. Luckily, Dan did not decide to make a sandwich, right? <laughs> He's nodding his head. But we're eating it. What do you think, Dan? How is it? You can just talk. It's good. This is like, it looks like prison cell lighting, but this is what it looks like. I like the sauce. The sauce is the crux of the meal. What do you think, Dan? As a meal, one through five. Eight? No, no, <laughs> 9.5? One through five. So four? Point five? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, this is good. It was easy, very easy. Do you eat the salmon skin? Yes or no? It's, personally, it's my favorite part of the salmon, especially when it's fried and crunchy. Ugh, it's so good. But some people are disgusted by it, I guess. Let me know in the comments below. Whoever comments, I'll randomly select and I'll send you a salmon skin in the mail. <laughs> Hashtag not spons. <laughs> hello, we're back here for a week. I mean, hello. Hello. Oh, Tilly. Hello. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do I get into here? Crikey. Cr Wait. Oh. Crikey. Crikey. All right. We're back. We're back. Day number four. I can't do it. We're back here. Day four. Blue Apron. Tonight we're making. Italian style chicken and zucchini. We're here. We already have forged our vegetables and cut them up. We have chicken. I'm gonna make Dan pat that dry because I hate patting it dry. You have to go like this. Dry. Dry. <laughs> and we got some pesto. You wanna be in this? No. Aw. What do they call it? Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Do you want to smoke a little bit? Inch. It's illegal. No. But I have my medical card, Dan. Inch. Instead, I'm gonna get plastic drunk, okay? Oh, right. it's way healthier. You're right. Whoa, I didn't authorize this almost middle part. Okay, so anyway, but for real, this recipe looks pretty easy. I'm cooking rice right now. The veggies are prepped. So all I gotta do is cook this chicken and then cook everything else, I guess. And then that's how you make dinner. Oh, there's a black fly in here. So we'll check back in. All right, Dan, dinner's ready. Are you sure? I'm positive. Here, let me serve it to you. Be better. 
for the deal, bro. Here you go. Ooh, it looks delicious. Let me put it down. You already washed that. No, I didn't. Coronavirus isn't real, it's a hoax. It's a Russian bot. Okay, this dinner is delicious. I'm obsessed with this pesto rice. Dan, what's your favorite part of the dinner? The rice. I knew you were gonna say that. Okay, the chicken's a little dry, which I like, but Dan? I mean, it's like too in sand. That's more of a user error. And, but overall, this is delicious. And Blue Apron, they're really like, the recipes are somewhat simple on paper, but then the outcome feels kind of fancy. Anyway, um, okay, that's tonight. That's it. I'm gonna see you tomorrow for the final night. All right, guys, we're here, we're back. Final night of Blue Apron. And this is what we're making. Pork lo mein. This recipe, this recipe should take about 20 to 30 minutes, so if you're me, it's gonna take about 60 to 70 minutes. Hold on. You gonna listen. But it should be pretty easy. It's just like noodles, bok choy, celery, and some sausage and seasoning. So we're gonna get started. Let's see. God damn bok choy is gone off. Well, I can peel some of the outers and get some of the innards, and then I guess I could always use broccoli too if I want to, but they gave me two pieces of bok choy, like they could have, you know, probably spared her another piece of bok choy. Oh man, you guys, this looks so good. But there's only one way to find out. All right, time to eat. Um, and I also want to say this is a very big portion, and there's still a little bit left over in the pot, which that's the first time it's that's ever happened from any meal delivery thing, right? right. And especially if it's pasta, I feel like they always try to like, Skip up. yeah, like here's the serving size of pasta. It's like, bitch, you know that I want more than that. Or at least two. I want at least three <laughs> thousand. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. You like it? Mm hmm Out of all the ones, what one is your favorite? This one or the Mexican? The Oops. enchiladas? Yeah. I think this one's pretty good. I don't know, I don't really remember any of them. I'll add in... <laughs> <laughs> That's how memorable they were. <laughs> no, I just smoke a lot of weed. I'll add in the text what, you, what my favorite one is. Overall, my thoughts on Blue Apron. I thought it was good, I would get it again. I think it definitely catered more towards... It was more customizable. And it catered, it's caters, what the fuck am I saying? You having a stroke, bro? I don't know, I, I like, it caters towards me because I know how to cook and I was allowed to select like, oh, I kind of know what the fuck I'm doing. So, the recipes, the way they explain stuff, they weren't like, measure this exact amount. There was no teaspoon, tablespoon, nothing. It was like, do this, do about this much, which is how I like to cook. I also like the checklist on the recipe cards. I thought that was cool. Their website, fucking confusing. Way too much going on. They're trying to make it like a uh, content destination. Oh, you know what would be good on this? A little squeeze of lime. I thought the recipes were easier to follow. I don't, the Hello, Hello Fresh is very simple, but I thought these were simple, but also the dishes came out and were a little more advanced. I actually think I might be obsessed with the labor now because their recipes are a lot different and they're all delicious so far. I know I was talking a lot of shit about them at the beginning of the video. This was the amount of carrots they have for two people, but I don't know. I might be converted now. I actually think I might be obsessed with Blue Apron now. Anyway, uh, let me know what meal delivery kit we should try next. This is the scintillating content that you've all been waiting for in 2020. This is the most important thing happening in 2020. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Dude, I noticed in vlogs lately, it's like I have a lot of saliva in my mouth and I get annoyed watching it. <laughs> I know, I'm always telling you. I have a big tongue. <laughs>